The quartz crystal microbalance is a very sensitive instrument, a very sensitive measure of mass. It's also a fairly simple device to make based around a quartz crystal uh, like this one. Um, you have seen these in computer circuits, uh, in microcontroller circuits. They normally come in a tin can that protects them from the elements. With a little bit of careful work with a, a file or a hacksaw, you can take the tin can revealing the crystal inside. And this is a bit small to see, so I've got a Google SketchUp model that shows you exactly what it is. Basically, a very thin disc of quartz, 0.17 mm thick, with an electrode on either side. And there's an equation called the Salbre equation, which relates change in mass, that is any mass deposited on the surface of the electrode, to change in frequency. The change in mass divided by the original mass is equal to change in frequency divided by the original frequency. Well, let's do the maths here. This crystal is pretty tiny. It has a mass of about 22 milligrams. It is a high frequency. It has a frequency of 9.8304 megahertz. This means a change in hertz in frequency of 1 hertz is a change in mass of 1 over 9.8304 million. So 1 hertz indicates a change in mass of 2.3 nanograms. Now a nanogram is a billionth part of a gram. How do we measure the frequency? Well, we build it into an oscillator. And uh, what I've built here is a very simple oscillator circuit based around the 74LS04 inverter. I want another change in frequency, so I've simply built another oscillator. And uh, put in one oscillator, I've got my working crystal, that is my crystal with the tin can removed. And in the other oscillator, I've got a reference crystal. The tin can's still there; it's not going to change. The outputs from the two oscillators are fed into a simple frequency comparator, uh, basically a D-type latch. Now I could measure the output using the frequency counter function on my multimeter. But for a bit more fun, what I've done is put an audio amplifier uh, on the output of this and a small speaker. So we're actually going to hear the change in mass. There's a bit of background there because the crystals are not a perfect match to begin with. Now I'm just going to breathe on this crystal here. And that's just the moisture in my breath landing on the surface of the crystal which causes that change in frequency and the moisture evaporates it goes back to the to its background noise. We could try putting a grain of rice on the surface of the crystal and what we find is that grain of rice it's a bit large, really. And we don't get the full effect of the grain of rice because it doesn't actually couple very well to the surface of the crystal. Let's try something uh, a little bit more fun. Let's try some water. Uh, do, do a water there. So we'll take a cotton bud. And it's really sensitive to that. We add some water. We take the water away again. Uh, these uh, quartz crystal microbalances have a whole range of scientific uses from vacuum deposition of metal films, electrochemical deposition, measuring single molecular thick films. Uh, you could, I think with a bit of practice, almost turn this into a musical instrument. <laughs> 